The Learning Lamp's free after-school and summer outreach programs started in 2009 with 24 kids in Johnstown's Moxham neighborhood. Today, the Learning Lamp operates sites in the city's Prospect and Oakhurst sections as well as Moxham. We serve more than 100 at-risk children and with very positive results. Two of three regular participants now complete homework on site each day and finish the school year with higher grades. Three of four ultimately demonstrate improved attitudes towards school, self, and others. Olivia and Julia Potts have been coming here for four years. It's been a tremendous benefit, not only for the fact that my, my daughters and my son at one point had a safe place to go, they had homework help, they were interacting socially, and at the end of the day, when six o'clock rolls around, they walk out with smiles on their faces knowing that they had a positive experience with people that truly care about them. What's four squared? Sixteen. Hans Esteban's native language is Spanish. The lectures given by his teachers and the books they used all in English made learning difficult and frustrating for him. And that frustration carried over to his home, where his parents were unable to offer any guidance. Because before the learning lab, we were having so many problems with him. It related not only with school, but in it was something with us, between us, because of the barrier of the language. The Learning Lamp tutors were able to break through that barrier, but it wasn't easy. Hans received tutoring for four years, thanks in part to scholarships, and because of his hard work, his grades steadily improved. Everything changed completely. It was a 180 degrees change. He was upset, I was upset, his autoesteem was low. So since the counselor from school told us about the learning lab and we start doing the tutoring with you guys, I haven't seen so many passion in my son now. I can see what he likes. The learning lab has been a big help for us. And I'm not saying it only because of this. I'm saying it because it's true. And I'm thankful. I was using drugs and I wasn't very happy with life and I got myself into trouble, a lot of it. Erin's behavior landed her in alternative education classrooms for most of her school years. As disciplinary problems escalated, her desire to do well in school plummeted. What I th remember most is just difficulty with peers and Erin uh, just struggling to get along, kind of having difficulty making it through the day sometimes. She seemed angry and frustrated, but I saw so much potential. With support from staff at the Learning Lamps Alternative Education Classroom at Chestnut Ridge High School, Erin came to believe in herself. I feel like Learning Lamp made me finally realize that I need to step my game up because I'm a senior, I need to get my act together, I need to get my grades up. So it was kind of just retelling her and reiterating, you can do it, yes you can, I know you can, we know you can, let's help you succeed. And once that clicked for her, she, she did the rest. With the best grades she'd received in years and the brightest outlook she can remember, Erin earned a high school diploma. 
I believe if I didn't go to the learning lamp, I probably would have dropped out or I wouldn't have made it to my senior year. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.